All right, hello and welcome to a de-lidding video. Um, I've been de-lidding successfully probably over about 100 consoles now. And then the other day I, I caused a small scratch as I entered to do the cutting. And uh, yeah, it, it basically killed the console and it was the tiniest scratch. Um, so, I always know there's a risk when you de-lid that this can happen, so you've got to take that on the chin. What we need to do is move forward with it and make sure it doesn't happen again. Now I know when it's cut when I cut in with this. Now I did I don't think I applied enough heat. Heat does actually help to loosen it slightly. Um, I've done some experiments on um, junk boards basically, and I have found that just adding and then I did it on a on a live on on one where it was occasionally artifact artifacting, so I did boot. And um, I put it all the way around this um, sealant remover. Uh, it wasn't a pleasant experience deleting it. It did delete successfully though, but it just didn't feel right. So then what I've done is I then on a few jump balls just put it as I put it in the area where I'm going to be coming in. And that does seem to work. So what we've got is sealant remover. Okay. So if you want to try this yourself, this is the way I would recommend you do it. <clears throat> and basically, what you want to do is tilt the board up and where you're cutting in, so here I'm coming in at this corner here. So I just want to put the sealant remover into the groove there. If you get it on the board, try to just wipe it off. come around and do it on the other side. So you're going to come in at one corner if you, or if you do come in say here for example you would put the sealant there. Wherever you're going to go in, wherever you're comfortable going in, put the sealant remover. It's a bit like jelly. So you just have to sort of push it into the area. And you don't need much of it. You get quite a lot in a tub. So you buy it from screw fix somewhere like that. And you leave it for about 15 minutes. Okay. So if you do have any on the board, I don't think I do, but just to be safe, because you can't tell, it is see-through stuff. There's no color to this. So a bit of IPA. Just around here, don't go anywhere near where you put it. <laughs> Otherwise you're just gonna take it off, like I've just taken a bit off there. And then you can wipe it off the top as well. And now I can see that I've got some sealant remover in there. If you ever look at it and you think, oh, I could do with a bit more on one side, which I've just looked at and seen, then yeah, just get you. I am just using a cotton bud soaked in the sealant remover. And I'm just pushing it in to the groove. Once we've done that, we've made sure there is none on the motherboard. I'm not sure it can harm the motherboard to be honest, but I don't want to take the risk. Um, then what I do is I then use flux and I'm looking for it, here it is. <clears throat> around the rest of it. So we get our flux. So this is relatively inexpensive, Kimbo 
flux of eBay for like three quid, lasts for ages. And I just push it in. Obviously when you get to where you've put in the sealant remover stop, because <laughs> that's where we're going to be cutting in. So we've used flux around the rest of it and we've stopped where we, so basically I've put sealant remover here and here, this corner, then I have put flux with the needle around the rest of it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to let that set for 15 minutes and I'll see you then. Right, so it's been 15 minutes. Uh, what I'm now going to do is get my hot air. This is at 150 degrees. And I'm just going to very gently give it some heat and melt that flux, basically. Also, it does soften up. The silicon a little bit as well. Yeah, yeah, it's nice and warm. It's not burning hot, just warm. It's getting hotter. It does retain the heat quite well. So yeah, it is actually my first time doing one of these boards, so... And I think maybe because I can't get a grip on the board. So what I'm going to do at this stage, because we have lots of little resistors, and the boards I normally do, they're not there. I'm going to 
come in with a smaller one. Which as you can see is missing them. It's, <laughs> there is some pressure going on this board, you can hear it. small one again. This is where you have to be careful because if you come into the last part, I don't want to knock anything off and I don't want to pull it off either. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up and what we are going to now do is again use the sealant remover. We're just going to put the sealant remover on top here and that's going to um, remove the sealant. So I might as well show you me doing that. So we are just going to dab it on. Again with a cotton wool bud. And we're going to leave it for 15 minutes again. Right. So, see you in 15 minutes. Right, okay, so... I've actually done some cleaning of the console and we've put it back in the case. It will eventually get washed anyway, but I thought, well, I've got the time. So I don't know how long it's been. It may have been about half an hour. So let me just uh, get my little plastic scraping tool. Does come off quite easily.
Okay, nearly all of it's off. Right, okay, if we, if we get in close on it, you can see and then we do indeed have, yeah, you see the whole chip there. So yeah, there's no copper showing through, no scratches. Um, sealant removal and where you're cutting in. Um, yeah, I've now done it several times. I mean, I, even without it, it's probable I won't scratch it but i think it adds a little bit of extra insurance if the sealant remover is softening it and that's where i'm cutting in i'm less likely to, to scratch it you're more likely to scratch it if the sealant is tough if the sealant is soft you're less likely to scratch it so that's my rationale behind it and yeah i just wanted to share with you um my um my new technique for the lidding um, and yeah, what I'll do is I'll pop some um, liquid metal on here, pop it all back together. Probably I'll delete the um, RSX as well. We can have a look at it. Let, have a look at it um, all working a bit later. All right. I'll see you later.